How to make a school management system using WordPress. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create a school management system in WordPress. Now, this can seem a bit complicated, but we have certain plugins that we can now use that is going to make this entire process really seamless and easy. So if you're running your own organization, if you have a school and you're trying to build a management system for that, you can easily do it with WordPress. So let's jump right in. Now to do this, firstly, you obviously need to have access to WordPress. If you don't know how to use WordPress for free, I can show you guys a quick overview. So to use WordPress for free, you want to go on to Pantheon.io. Pantheon.io is a platform that allows you to use things such as WordPress and other hosting platforms for free. You don't have to pay for hosting. You don't have to pay for anything. You just proceed with Pantheon. Create an account over here and then create your site using WordPress. Now, once you have your WordPress site up and running, you're going to go into your WordPress dashboard and then click on plugins on the left tab. Then you're going to click on add new plugin. From here, you're going to search for school management. And once you search for school management, you will see certain applications. Now, firstly, you have the WP WordPress School Management Press Team, and this is particularly developed by the perspective of a school manager. Then you also have a school management system by Weblazar, and this can help you in managing things like classes, sections, student, teachers, staff, and more. You also have master study, school management system, and you know, all of these other applications. Now, the one that I recommend is the school management system by Weblazar, as well as master study LMS. You have other options as well. You also have the WP school management, but you can proceed with whichever one you think is the best for you. So simply click on install on the school management system. And once you click on install, you're going to click on activate to activate your plugin. Once you click on activate over here, your plugin is going to be activated. Now from here, you can click on settings and you have your general settings, currencies and all. Then on the left panel, you will now see things such as a dashboard for the school management system. You also have classes, sessions, settings. Then you have your school manager, which includes your dashboard, inquiries, and settings. Then you have your SM academics. Then you have your school management for students. Then you have your school management for administrators, for accounting, and then your feedback. Now, once you have created this, you might wonder where are all the pages for this going to be created? You have to create individual pages by yourself. You can build, you know, forefront pages as well. But we're going to get started and we are going to create our school. Firstly, I'm going to go into the school manager and then go into dashboard. Click on edit school over here. And we're going to add our school name, Lily's Kindergarten, like this. And then we can add the information about the school over here. After that, you're going to go into classes and you can add the classes over here. Now, by default, there are going to be classes that are created. So we are going to remove all of these uh, preset classes because these are not applicable for our school. I'm just going to delete all of these altogether like so. And I'm just going to delete all of these excessive classes. We can also do a really simple thing and rename them into the ones that we do have. I'm just deleting all the extra ones. And now I'm going to get started by renaming these. So firstly, I'm going to place a create a class called free kindergarten A, and then I'm just going to rename this. Then I'm going to go back and view all. Then I'm going to add pre kindergarten B pre-kindergarten B and then I'm going to update my class. Now I'm going to add the third class that we have and that is kindergarten A like so and then I'm going to add my fourth class which is kindergarten B and just like that you're going to add all of your classes. Once you have done that I'm just going to delete any of the excess classes. Now I can go into sessions on the left. Now, sessions are start times and end times for a particular year. 
So these are not my admission sessions. So I want this to correlate with when I'm taking admissions. So I'm going to edit this from here and the session for 2024 to 2025 is going to start at 2024. And let's say we are starting in August and we're going to start from the 16th of August. And then the end time is going to be, let's say we have I think I want to go with six months, so one, two, three, four, five, and let's say it ends in January, and then let's say it ends at the end of January over here, and I'm just going to update my session like so, and I'm going to name this 2024 slash 2025 winter, just like so. Now once I've done that, I can also add my secondary session. Then below that, you have your general settings. Now after that, we're going to go into the school manager. And this will just give us a dashboard of all of our classes, sections, students, active students, the admissions that we have, the payments that have been made. Then you have any of your inquiries. So you're going to find that over here. Then you also have settings. Now, this includes your general settings, email carrier, your student admission templates, invoice templates, online fees admission templates that you can customize, as well as your Stripe payment getaway. You can click on the Stripe Payment Getaway to set this up so you are able to accept school admission fees with Stripe. Then you also have your general registration. Now, this is the online registration for your school. So you want login after registration. Then I will also have the admin phone number, student name, your registration has been submitted, and all of the information that is required for people to get admitted or registered for my school. Then we have our academics. So in this, we can set up a notice board. We can set up our students. We can also divide our class sections as well as manage dashboards. Then below that, we have our general student manager. This includes adding new admissions, students, printing student IDs, and promoting students onto the next grade. You also have a school manager, administrative manager, so you can add all of your staff members and all the roles that your staff members are going to have within the school manager. Then you have your general accounting tools, including your invoices that are currently paid, partially paid, payment has been received, as well as any of the unpaid dues. And just like that, you can create a simple school manager. Now, once your school manager has been created, you can create pages to reflect it. So you can click on add new page over here and add a new page. Whenever you're creating new pages on WordPress, you have different templates that you can work with. And this just really depends on how you want to structure your page. You have different types of blocks you can include and you can derive data from your school manager as well. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.